Wow, we actually got some plot progression. Yamada pretty much just told her that you're this reward, this treasure that I couldn't even think of achieving. And I was thinking it from Akane's perspective, and she's like, what, you, you really thought like that? And I did too, I thought it was kind of the other way around, but I guess she really is all that. I never really thought Yamada really thought like that. He was just always so indifferent about everything, but looks like something's there. She's not really, you know, going into it though. She's still like, what are you talking about? You're just joking, right? But no, no. Let's look into this reaction. I can't oh, it's a part time job. Oh. Hello? I know you. Are you Akane by any chance? Ah, <laughs> uh, she got him over here. <laughs> We're seeing Ponytail Akane for the first time, actually. Oh, is it the same convenience store? That, uh, remember the other girl that kind of got, not rejected, but she's like, Oh, can I get your number, please? Remember that one? Housewife. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Housewife. Yeah, yeah, he's tall, great looking. Housewife, relax! This isn't that kind of show. Lonely housewife and Yamada. This is a jab in the making. Oh, is he waiting for her? Almost. Might as well be. Is Housewife gonna go for it? <laughs> housewife should go for it. Aww. Liar. Liar. <laughs> Dude, what are these? The tongue! The tongue action! Why is that so funny? He did. He did. Even though his facial expression hasn't changed much, his attitude towards her has. Wow. I wonder how long he actually waited. <laughs> Make him wait like three hours. Oh, more meals for Yamada. What did he do? Oh, yeah. Are the penny pinching days over? Because she got the part time job. Yo, who is paying for her other shit? There's no fucking shot you can afford that one bedroom apartment, be a college student, afford all this luxury shit that she buys and spends with a part time job. Who the fuck is a fun? Obviously, her parents, probably, right? <laughs> Just ridiculous to me. Wait, she already has a scarf on, but this is, you know, when he would give her his scarf. Here, use mine. Get out of the way! <laughs> So dramatic. <laughs> oh my god. Good job, bike rider. I like to think that was a paid actor by Akane. Mm. What are you thinking? Mm. It's all bubbly and romantic. Oh. oh, he's so thoughtful. See, he cares about you. It's not like we're boyfriend and girlfriend or anything, but clearly they, they pretty much are, don't you think? Yeah, this show keeps doing this shit where it's just like bubbling in the background and there's just like a long pause of them just like thinking into the void. It's funny that Momo shot on Akane thinking, at your age, should you be playing video games? Don't you think you should be going out and socializing and trying to get a man? <laughs> and like, Momo can't find one. Akane did. I mean, it, it, it is an anime after all. It's, it's, it's not a real story, right? But it's just funny to me how... The two are juxtaposed like this. <laughs> the best thing about this show is all the girls are going for the uh, younger guys. I like the big sister. Man, if I was in Yamadashi, if I was in like grade 12 in high school senior year and there was a hot college girl going after me, bro, it's just... That's a fantasy and a half. Oh, new member. So that's the crisis? A new member is telling it happens to be a girl? I mean, look, keep it. <laughs> I mean, look, she was a new girl. She was so hostile, but look how good friends they are now. No, 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 no. She, she just really hates other girls, huh? She just wants attention for myself. Okay, okay, okay. I wonder who it is. It can't be Mo. Wait, it's Yamada's friend, the glasses girl, remember? Because he kind of talked to her about the game, I think, and she was like, is it fun? No, come on, you can have a new friend. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, maybe she's gonna get jealous though. Maybe she, maybe Akane is gonna get jealous. Like Yamada said a girl? Huh? 
We never heard his number? Oh shit, I didn't even know. Thanks, Runa. Oh, damn, that's a, that's a big score, but... Oh, damn, we never thought that we didn't have his number. I wonder if she actually likes Yamada. I mean, probably, but she's really hiding it. And you saw in the last episode, whenever Yamada was like kind of like ignoring her to a sense and like going with Akane. She wouldn't show it in her face, but I could feel something like she might be jealous, right? <laughs> in terms of personality, <laughs> she's kind of the same as Yamada, <laughs> just indifferent. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. That burger is Dude took like half a. That burger was. How is this so small now? What is it? <laughs> I swear to God, that thing's changed. He bit, I know, but it, it's changed in size dramatically. Why am I focusing on the burger and not the conversation? Akane. <laughs> I gotta take a call. My girl's calling. A no number because she doesn't got it. Ooh, oh, come on, pick it up. Come on. Oh, oh, we got hung. Damn. Damn. We got stood up. No. Know what glasses <laughs> She's kind of changed her voice. Probably trying to like confirm that you're single, right? You don't got any other girls, right? Oh! The pink background means, and she's blushing, that she's obviously into it. I think this is the first time we've actually seen some kind of like confirmation. She definitely is. Like, oh, I feel kind of bad. Why are they introducing a new girl at this stage? Because, because like, they just like made a lot of development with Yamada and Akane, right? And like, why are they bringing her in now? It's gonna be so bad for her. Oh, she's just gonna get cooked. What's going on? <laughs> you trying to talk about putting a sweater on? <laughs> a little lower on the phone. Maybe he's intentionally trying to do that so that you know they can't listen to it, especially her. Maybe. I mean, yeah. Oh, she already knows her name. Oh, he got another hamburger. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you, you shouldn't. I, you, you don't, don't, don't. You should give up right now. This, this is just gonna hurt. This is just. No, Akane. <laughs> Not Rudy Hime. A treasure, a reward, you know, a star that I'm not worthy of. Oh, no. <laughs> She's so great, though. Oh, why are they doing this to this poor glasses girl, man? Oh, yeah. Liar. Say it. Say it. It's the love of your life. Oh, you got the potato fries. Come on, just end it now. Just give her, cut her off right. You can't lead her on. <laughs> oh, dude, that's the worst if you get called in when it's your time off, especially if you're sick too. Maybe. Do you think Yamala might come visit her at work? Ah, ah. Oh, thank God. Okay. If it landed the screen down first, that's a. Oh God. You know, if it could break. <laughs> That's what she's happy about. Glasses girl. Her face looks identical to her. Without the glasses, but it's just a deadpan face. Rurihime! She gotta say yes, right? Could you imagine if she said no? Just because, you know, Akane was in the guild? But like, if I was in a situation, I probably wouldn't want to get closer to Yamada or Akane because it, it breaks my heart. It just exactly like I, I just wouldn't put myself in a situation to get cucked like that. I just like separate myself, do my own thing. Oh damn, this is actually bad. No, but this is good. Uh, I I don't want her to be sick, but 
being sick in Rancom series means one thing that someone else is gonna take care of them, right? And usually that kind of leads to some kind of development. Like it's it's the most classic cliche, right? Right? So yeah, I'm just gonna come over probably, right? <laughs> This is actually pretty bad. Can't even drink. Oh, she's not gonna die. Come on now. It's not that kind of show. Yeah, that's gotta come over and feed her porridge. Come on. <laughs> gonna fall on your face like that. Watch her to sleep in this position. <laughs> Yes, Yamada's gotta make the rice porridge. Come on! Nah, don't worry. Your man will bring everything. Yeah, she's. This is. I hope the moment she opens the door, Yamada's right there. You can't ride a bike now. No, no, Yamada! No! no I, I hope that Yamada will show up now. Come on. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, there he, wait. He notices because because of the bike falling down. Then <laughs> she's looking rough though. Yeah, you could probably do that. I don't know. Just for that you to be in this situation, so that Yamada could notice. It's perfect. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh! Boom! Don't worry. <laughs> Why does he look so cool? Look at him. You can't even see his eyes. And it's always such a, like a really bright background whenever these kind of moments happen. It is I, Yamada. Could you imagine if it actually wasn't some random dude instead? Oh. Catch her by the head. Oh! My prince! <laughs> and look, the shoujo bubble with the bright background. What a dramatic scene, dude. <laughs> she looks like she's actually dying. See, I don't want her to be sick, but being sick leads to these kind of moments. That's why I'm like, let's fucking go. Things are going pretty well between Akane and Yamada. If you ignore, yeah, you know, Akane's like deadly sickness. I'm just wondering why they're bringing the glasses girl now. It just feels so cruel for her to just experience like Yamada and Akane get closer and together. Like at this moment, when everything is coming together, you introduce a new girl to get cucked. What is the point? I, I, I. I don't know. It's it's maybe if 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 Yamada and Akane just were to just get along too well and there wasn't someone to be a victim like that, it'd be boring. I don't know. Maybe they're doing some other shoujo shit that I have no idea. But I'm just I just feel bad for that girl. We'll see what happens. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.